Hello IT Pros and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to simulate uh, or we're going to interrupt the process of uh, BIOS update. For that end I'm going to use this computer which is an HP ProBook 4540S and we are going to do what we have been doing in previous videos, update the BIOS so it can have more features and for security. But in this case, I'm going to interrupt the process. I'm going to simulate a power interruption, which is me disconnecting the power supply from the, from the laptop. And we are going to see what happens. Well, we kind of know what's going to happen, but we never really seen what, what happens. So what, why am I doing this? This HP product is going to be the commission anyway. The hard drive is not working very well. I have installed Windows again, and it's still the same. Uh, the battery is not working and the, uh, and the back cover for this device is broken. So it's not really useful for anybody. Uh, instead of throwing it away, I decided to show you what happens when a BIOS, is not, when a BIOS upgrade is not successful. So here we are you know, on the laptop and I'm going to open a, a CMD and type system info. As you can see here, the host name is to dispose. It's a Windows 10 Pro, but the version doesn't make a difference. Can be 7, can be 8, can be Linux, can be anything. And it's a Hewlett Packard HP ProBook 4540S. The BIOS version, it is F31 that came out in 2012. So it's kind of old. I have, um, I'm going to try to upgrade it to F67 that came out this year, I oh, not this year, it's already 20, 2019. So it came out last year. I want you to notice that the battery is not present. However, it's not working anyway. So I just took it off. And I already have the update file that I have downloaded from uh, HP, from the HP website. Um, and now we are just going to double click on it and start all the process. Okay, so now we double click on it. We're going to run it. Uh, we have the classic alert from Windows. Uh, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? It's a very very five publisher, HP. Uh, and next we have um, the wizard. Title HP notebook, notebook System BIOS Update F67. I'm going to click Next. I'm going to accept the terms in the license. And you can uh, install it here. You can choose any other place to install it. It's up to you, but I'm going to leave it by default. If you want to watch videos about how to uh, properly upgrade um, BIOS versions from different motherboards, you can click on the top right of this screen. Here we have uh, uh, Welcome to HPQ Flash Wizard. It's strongly recommend, recommended that all applications are closed during this process. So I'm going to do just that. And then click Next to continue. So we click Next. And uh, what do you want to do? Update, update the BIOS on this computer or create a USB? No, I'm just going to update from here. So here's a reminder. The, version of the BIOS it's, uh, that we are going to update is F67 and our current one is F31. Warning, after installation, installing this BIOS version on the, the computer, the prior BIOS version is going to be lost. So we click next and here we have this process, saving current version. So it's backing up the current BIOS version. So interruption of this update procedure can damage the system. Please be patient and make sure that all the steps are completed successfully. So that's where we are not going to do this time. So this process takes kind of a, a long time. So I'm going to accelerate, uh, accelerate the video so you don't have to wait for it. So now it's flashing new BIOS. So now I'm going to disconnect the computer from the power supply and we're going to see what happens. As you can see, I have already done it. I, I connected back again and I started the computer. I have already logged in, nothing happens. We are back where we started. So nothing really happened. So I'm going to try one more time and we're going to uh, do the same, but in a different place now. So all the process is going to be the same. There is actually no difference in the first steps from what we did uh, 
the first time. So here you can see more clear, clearly what, what's going to happen. So the only difference here would be that the following file is already on your computer. Do you want to replace it? Uh, well, yeah, you, can, you have to click yes to all. That would be the only difference here. And the same screen, you just click next, update the BIOS, the version that we have, the version we're going to up, update to, and the same process. But this time, we're not going to press anything yet. So the flashing new BIOS is, in, is uh, it's been in process, and now we reach this screen. Upon restarting, the screen might be blank for a few minutes, and the LED lights might flash. So I have, I can wait for 50 seconds, or I just can click continue to restart. So the computer is restarting. Again, the video is accelerated, and it comes to this screen, writing BIOS image. The system BIOS is being updated. The update will take a few minutes to complete and will restart. Do not shut down or remove external power from the power from the computer during this process. Now I'm going to disconnect the computer from the power from the power supply from the well, from the power supply. I'm just going to pull the cable. And this is what happened. So I'm going to connect the power supply again, and I'm going to press the power button to start the computer. But this time, nothing is going to happen. There is no HP logo. There is not, there, there is not a single blink on the computer, or well, on the screen. There's nothing. So I did this like a few times, like three or four times, but nothing happens. I mean, really nothing happens. So uh, I'm going to show you here in a few seconds that the power button is on, meaning that the computer is running. And from time to time, the caps lock blinks. However, as you can see here, there is there is nothing on the screen. So these are the consequences of an uh, unlucky or an unsuccessful BIOS update. Whether it is, uh, the most common reason, if you're not on a laptop with a battery, of course, is that you're in a desktop computer and, the, and you're unlucky enough that the lights, that the electricity goes down. So that this might happen. Again, I'm showing you the power button. I'm going to press it to shut it down. As you can see here, it's off, and I'm going, I'm going to disconnect uh, the power supply of the charger, and I'm going to turn it on again. But as I mentioned before, nothing is going to show up on the screen. The computer is really dead. I mean, the BIOS, which is, let's put it this way, is the, is the brain of the computer before the operating system, is not present, it's not working. So it cannot, uh, in this case, Windows cannot be put in. And you can hear the fan from the laptop. That's all it does. All the time that you restart the computer, the fan is just spinning like crazy. So, well, that's what I wanted to show you guys. Um, this is an unsuccess uh, access unsuccessful uh, BIOS update. So, uh, so just for you to know that you co your computer really can be dead, it's unusable, okay? And I just wanted to show you this. Well, if just for you to know, the hard drive is working perfectly. I mean, if you connect the, the hard drive to another computer, you're going to have your files back. I mean, you have everything working, only the BIOS is not working correctly. So thank you for watching, guys. Uh, if you like this video, please leave a, leave a like. If you have any comment, please leave it in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next one.